Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Try On Tuesday, the brand new show on my YouTube channel where I take a look, a nice long look, at the best that Try On World's developer has to offer, and uh, I've not been disappointed with any of their games, I can tell you right now. And I have a good feeling about this game because just the music alone is awesome, if you guys are hearing it right now, which I know you are. Now, uh, one minor gripe that I have right now is that it's probably not the game. It might be. I don't know. But um, OBS's game capture function doesn't seem to recognize this game, and it won't capture it. So I'm now doing a window capture. Um, I don't think that's going to end up very well. So um, if it doesn't, I'm probably going to stop this capture. I'm going to keep this intro, but I'm going to stop the capture so I can figure something out. But um, fingers crossed that it actually works. If not, I'll use... Wait. I may not be able to use XSplit either, which is kind of crappy. I might have to use my uh, my graphics card. I could do that. Um, but yeah, so um, today we're going to be taking a look at Arc Age. Never played this game before, um, but was created with CryEngine, which is fantastic. I think I think their main um, engine is definitely CryEngine because it seems like a, a, quite a few of their games use it. So really excited about it. Um, <clears throat> I already skipped over to the uh, character selection screen I didn't do anything just because I'm trying to figure I was trying to figure out you know is this a launcher window is this the actual game like what's going on here um, but I kind of need to capture the whole thing um, either way but the, the the character models look really good the armor looks badass and I gotta say some of the characters look pretty cool as well but I think I might <laughs> I might go default uh, elf because you know I love elves but um, we're going to pick the Kraken server because I believe I've had my Tryon account since before December. I've had it way before December, so more than likely um, the reason this says Q is because I can't join it. I don't know, but I'm going to choose Kraken because Kraken sounds cool anyway. Um, so the graphics are set at about high. They're set to high. I um, The game defaulted to very, uh, like very high or ultra. And uh, I'd like it to run well, so I'm just going to do that. I'm also going to be a female, which is not normal for me. But, um, wow, those are really big for like, no reason. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go elf. The blood, of, uh, the blood of life is honor, and the blood of death, the same. Elves seclude themselves deep in the forest, avoiding other races as much as possible. Though envied by their, uh, for their beauty, their behavior is considered incomprehensible. Hoping for an honorable death, they often deliberately seek out danger. They feel the ultimate honor is vengeance for their past defeats. And so the racial skills are uh, increased swim speed and allows you to hold your breath underwater for 30 more seconds for 5 minutes. Um, this, this is also the weird thing. Um, uh, lighting and textures are lighting. Yeah, lighting and textures are having a hard time loading just in this screen alone. So I'm not sure. What that's all about is you can see she's got a her face is a little too dark for the situation. Wow, those move even in armor. What is this, guys? Come on, you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, and then uh, instant thirty-minute cooldown increases the maximum health of nearby allies. So that's like a, a really powerful spell. So we go next. More than likely, I'm gonna have to. Uh, wow, that's a really cool. Well, I don't know if it's loaded actually, to be honest, but that's really cool. Select a skill set. Alright, so we've got uh, Battle Rage. You know, as, as blatant as it is that they're making the uh, females very scandally clad, it's actually some pretty cool looking armor too. Um, okay, so there's archery. There's... Uh, I'm guessing this is healing. You see how it doesn't load right away? I find that very strange. I guess that is a problem with CryEngine. That's... That's really cool. The cape and everything. I'm already gonna... I'm already liking this game because of the fact that it looks good. It looks very good. But you know me. I'm gonna go sorcery. Because... Mages, bro! Mages! All right, so I'm going to keep a close eye on the uh, recording because um, who knows, when it gets into game, it could slow down dramatically, and I don't want that to happen. The ancient arch Archmage Ar uh, Aren Arenzeb. Arenzeb 
symbolizes sorcery. His followers leash powerful, uh, unpredictable magic into versatile element and protection, uh, elemental and protection spells, just as Aaron Zeb once controlled his anger and sadness to confront his bloody destiny with serenity. Magic attack. Control difficulty is four out of five stars. Challenge accepted. This skill set offers the most devastating long-range magic attacks, but their power comes with a price. Skilled sorcery users must learn to plan around their spells' long cast times, calculating the perfect time to freeze an enemy in their tracks or summon a deadly meteor. Totally, totally in it. Wow. Stripped it right down, didn't they? I usually go for a male. You guys know that. Um, I usually like to play a guy because I like to, you know, basically be myself. But um, So it looks like we're going to be getting into the whole customization thing here. That's good. Um, hair. I'm not going to go crazy with this. They really just decided to go all in with this detail. I can see why people like this game because the customization alone is... Pretty nice. Pretty nice, I gotta say. I'm liking it. Um, brunette? Eh, maybe black hair? Yeah, black hair says sorcery, in my opinion. Alright, her eyes are definitely going to be... This one. I'm gonna do this one. I think these are, like, all presets and stuff. Yeah, I like that one. Um, color? Look at this customization. I'm not ever going to do this, but that's awesome. I'm not going to lie. Got daylight, and then evening. And you got uh, dawn. Is there is there eye color? Music is really good. I'm a big fan of this type of music. There's no eye color. I'm looking down, close his iris size. Brow. Yeah. No color. Oh. That's disappointing. Oh well. Nose is fine. Lips are fine. Head is fine. Skin is fine. Brows are. That's a little bit more full looking, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I like, I like the uh, little arch that it makes there. It's a little bit... Actually, yeah, no, it'd have to be matching, wouldn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh. I'm going, like, straight up white, because it's awesome. Wait, you can have black eyes? Come on. Okay, fine. I'll do this then. Sorry, I just wanted to slide it. Wow, you can have black eyes. I go all white, though, because white is just really cool to look at. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll make it a nice purple. Yeah, <laughs> I like that, yeah. Not only is it devious, but it's sexy at the same time. Style. There's a, that's pretty cool. I'm accessorizing. What's this, blush. You gonna blush on her? It's, I mean, it's not really noticeable. That one is, but like the rest of it's not really that noticeable. I want to try and match the color of her eyes, but uh, you know what? I'll I'll leave it at more of like a, a normal color. I like the way that looks. Then we got paint. <laughs> What? How is that paint? That just makes her look terrible. Like she's diseased. That's a pretty cool one, but... Um, no. She's fine the way she is. No imperfections on this woman. <laughs> Size? Size of what? Oh. Wait. I can't do anything. Oh, you know what? That probably has something to do with these... All right, preview. 
Oh, look at that armor. <laughs> Yo, I like the detail. I'm... This is... That's like very dead or alive physics. Like... And I... I don't know if I can change the size of them. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I like boobs, but... That's such, I like this outfit. That one's really cool. This one's not low. Okay, there we go. Very classy. Very tits popping out. E. Very nudie. Um. Yeah, I can't. Um. Save all customizations made so far. Oh, can't have spaces. Okay, apparently, also, only the first letter can be capitalized. Whatever, I'll just call it first. There you go. Complete. All right, character name. Um, we spent quite a time on the uh, customization, didn't we? Hmm. Rika. How? How? I mean, I've used that name in the past on other things, but like I came up with it out of out of nowhere. This is why I prefer games. Like sometimes I like it when games put like a random name generator that you just click a button and it comes up with something for you. It's so much easier. Aurelia. Come on, how is that name in use? I just came up with it. <sighs> well, I like this name, so I'll just add a letter. God. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, video. Let's play that. All right, then. Well, that's a... Uh... That's my intro. <laughs> cool. Very cool uh, video. I hope I didn't just screw over the game right now. So it's still at the loading screen. I'm going to obviously have that at the beginning, and I'm just going to cut out of it. There we go. Okay. Long loading times. Not sure about that. Like, the initial load of the game at the, before I started playing is... Uh, the nation's max capacity is based on the number of territories it's claimed. Hmm. Um, was a bit long, but then after that it shortened up a little bit. But that was just odd. Yeah, quite long loading times. I'm hoping that it's long at the beginning and then it just, like, changes after that you know because the game's already been loaded it's got its areas or whatever data's there because i've never fired this game off before so i can understand that <clears throat> so yeah um that's gonna be the intro video so you guys will probably see a big cut right there that's because i put it at the beginning so uh that was pretty cool pretty cool this is why i love cry engine because although it has some technical faults um, the games that are produced by it are beautiful. Like that technical fault right there. You see all that? All the popping and everything? They should do something about that. But most people probably don't give a crap that it does that. Maybe it's just my computer. I don't know. Alright, so far the window captures turning out pretty good. Being that young. It's creepy. You're looking at her. Who are you? What do you don't be alarmed? My name is Lucius, a bard. Perhaps is a bard your last me? name? <laughs> bards name themselves after the adventurer. Heh. <laughs> Doesn't explain why you're in my bedroom. I'd be in her bedroom, too. <laughs> I have an important task, and I need individuals with potential. I like this already, that it's got a full story and voice night. acting. 
What kind of friend? Let me explain the only way I know how. With a humble verse. <sighs> We're gonna have, have to hear you sing. Just inside eternity, the mother dared to wake. No, it's a story. Her garden bloomed around her, but the colors had lost their beauty. That didn't rhyme. For her dreams had shown her another world, and out the garden's door, the power swirled. That did. But it called for something more. With magic and light, <coughs> the mother nourished the world, and it flourished with life, and eons passed with her loving care. But while the mother was sleeping, twelve fools found her door. They tread inside like conquerors, ignorant to the law. That rhymed too. Looks like he's just like deciding when he wants to rhyme it or not. The twisting path to begin again. Don't you guys wish combat was actually like that? Like how cool would that be? Maybe someday, you know, a video game will have that capability. The problem with video games though, uh, having combat like that is that video games are bound by rules and logic and that's why it's difficult to program a game to play out like that like we all wish we that it would but with the best of intentions the hereafter road is made yeah like half those words rhymed it's time to return to the northern continent i made a promise long ago now i ask you to help me fulfill it Rory is barren. No one can live there. The magic is returning, and with it, <clears throat> life. But it needs your help. Are you saying I'm some kind of hero? Middle of the night, you spout this nonsense. Calm down, you're no hero. But you do have potential. I can prove it to you. Go talk to Captain Talkar down at the docks. I promise the rewards will be great. The, uh... Subtitles and audio are off. I don't know if that's my computer because I am seeing stuttering. You guys are probably seeing it too. Wow, though that skirt couldn't be any shorter if she wanted it to be. I'm liking the lighting, the character models, and everything. The game's very pretty, but boy, I hope it runs better. Okay. Hello, Hamish. Who has that name? Bolt ride. Look it. Sailing's no fun without some rum. <laughs> Wonderful. We got Captain and Jack rhyme. Sparrow here. Rhyming and rumming and sailing. <laughs> Look, care for a drink. Good old grandpa. Are you here to see the captain? Yes, I am, little you girl. Be at one of the docks. Just look for the busiest ship. Wait up, you. I'm no stranger to the sea. I was quite a dog sea. Sea dog. Back in my day. Good lord. Can he talk any slower? It's time for your nap, Grandpa. <laughs> Find the captain at the docks. Click and drag to adjust your yeah. point of view. No, it's the same. Same controls as something like World of Warcraft. You know, typical MMO, which is perfectly fine because that allows me to pick up and go in any MMO as long as, you know, when the controls are, are very similar. Speaking of which, there we go, that took a bit. Um, sound settings, that's fine, but what about, uh, sele that's select character. Are there any key bindings that you can change? Oh, come on now, there's got to be, like, key bindings that you can mess with. Why in the world do I have a bow? I'm a mage. Like, what is this? Where do you think you're going? You must be lost. You're not trying to join a crew wearing that, are you? <laughs> Go get back to your nursemaid. Yeah, why don't you guys with lipstick get the hell out of my face? That's my personal guest. Get back to work before I throw you over the barrel. I got it. Look. Captain Barbosa. Seriously, why am I carrying a bow? I'm a mage. I'm supposed to be. I've been waiting for you. Good. You have a wealthy patron who thinks highly of your skills. Let's get you familiar with your new home. I'm gonna live on a boat? 
Can't you fly in this game or something? Approach the captain and press F. Order! The advance party sent a raven requesting immediate support. We weren't scheduled to leave yet, but we can't wait now. At least he talks faster than the One drunk thing. old grandpa. You will need some real armor. Try these on for size. The sea is a dangerous place. Sweet. Got new armor. Use the ladder to board the ship. What? Look at me. But why am I not a mage? I'm sure I'm going to, uh... To grab the ladder, then w to or I'll just right-click it. The game's very stuttery. Captain on deck. Might, you, might be just the fact that I'm reading it from a hard drive instead of, like, an SSD or something. I plan on doing that, actually. Getting all my games, like, not all of them, but, like, having an SSD reserved for installing games that I know I'm going to be playing over and over again, like, say, Skyrim and Fallout, for example. Planning on doing that. Let's get her going. And I'm pretty sure that these games are not terribly big in size, so they'd probably all fit on one SSD. Um, I'm going to have to get a big enough one to use, though. 240 gigs doesn't seem like it'd be enough, because I also want to get all the Blizzard games on SSDs, so it could run faster. I've got a 4 terabyte housing these games right now. Shut up, I know. God. Press F or right click. Only one of those I can help with. Centuries ago, we were chased from our home. Now we have reports that the land is beginning to heal. It's time to go back. Of course, I suppose it's a bit more complicated. I'm sure. It always is. Yeah. I heard all your tales, how you elves once lived in glory. How you were the most I am liking this, though. I like the fact that it's voice acted. That means they put a lot of time and effort into writing a full-fledged story. They got cutscenes in the middle to kind of, like, elaborate on, well, in this case, a past that used to exist. I like it. I like it. Just stutter is all hell. And I'm watching the capture. It is not the capture. So... Changed forever. The war had raised your forest home, and you became refugees living in the ruins. You shunned the other races so you could focus only on the game. Actually, does have a uh, frame rate slider, so I could actually limit this to 30 FPS if that would fix it, but it might not. Living your entire lives in hopes of killing Kyrios. Or other avenues of learning and kind of pointless to be recording at 60 FPS and drop it down to 30. I'm curious about how, how well it would run at 30, though. And again, these are not the highest graphics. These are only uh, high. There's also very high in Ultra. But it looks really good, even on high, so I'm liking it. I wonder if my girl's going to talk anymore, because she's only spoken, like, at the beginning. Sailor, man that cannon and rain steel on those pirates. Sweet, I get to shoot a cannon. If this isn't the tea party, grab the cannon. I didn't. Use the cannon did you say a tea party because what? I'm a woman a and I'm dainty. Whoops, I got off of it. Not good. Um, am I am I firing? I have no idea. I'm hitting R. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's already attached to my mouse. I just have to. There we go. Um. Hmm. I'm I'm hitting R and it's it's not firing. What the hell's going on here? What kind of crap are you guys running? Oh! It says hit R! Oh, okay, I see. R, and then you gotta click. Well, it doesn't say that. Okay. Thanks for the non-information. It said hit R to fire the cannon. 
Didn't say hit R then left click. I feel like this game is like tailored to a controller or can be. Minus, you know, having to move the camera with the mouse, but I feel like if somebody really tried, they could, like, tailor a control scheme to this for, like, a 360 controller or Xbox One controller or something. I don't know. I just It just seems like that way to me. Oh, there goes the statue. That was solid gold! Ah, dude, why are you ramming into us? There's a lot of pirates. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed. Oh crap, they are flying. What? All of a sudden I've got one? Sweet! They're not even gliders though, like they're just flying. It's magic. You know it's magic. Look at all that pop in, dude. That's terrible. Please don't rape me. Seems the goddess Nui wasn't ready for you yet. Oh. Let's see if you're as good as she seems to think. Nui, huh? Oh, my flying rig. Captain. Wow, there's even a skimpier, more skimpy ready chick over there. Sir. Look at it. Good. it. Looks like he's wearing, like, pink lipstick. Move out! Let's see what we're up against. So this is how my adventure begins with a bunch of pirates. Damn. But what? When does the maging start? Double tap the W key to run to the captain and learn how to control a glider. I mean, am I? I'm running a little bit faster. Again, the game is very stuttery right now. Okay, and we can restrict max FPS. Down to 30. Apply. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. I feel like maybe loading would be a little bit better if I did do this, but who knows? I'm probably completely wrong about that. Okay. Invisible walls. Great. About 45. I'm just, I'm just playing around here. I know it's going to look weird, but... 45 is like the optimal frame rate that you want to play at. But, you know what, it's probably... Here we go. Apply. That might have been the problem, actually. The, the restrict max FPS. It was too high for my monitor. Sometimes that causes issues with my, uh, with my oh, ability to play games smoothly. An okay, now your this beard is be easy. blonde? I thought it was gray. I'm going gray. to you a glider and a mission. I want you to help me scout out the fortress's defenses. We also need to monitor the enemy's movements. Okay. All right, so this is what? Hold down W to glide faster. Hold down D to turn right. Oh, it's doing it on its own. Hold down A to turn left. So I guess there's no changing the uh, controls. to reduce your speed and stay airborne longer. Oh, so I have to I have to do that. Press R to use the glider barrage skill. This skill is designed for attacking airborne enemies. Okay. So R is airborne. Press T to use the air raid and skill. that's for ground, I'm guessing. This skill is designed for attacking enemies on the ground. There you go. I knew it too. That's still stuttering a little bit. This is really cool though. What? My woman's got some skills. Uh-oh. I'm not even controlling anything. Excellent fortifications. We've seen enough. Let's head back. So that's all we needed to do, huh? I mean, I literally have no control over this. I just fired once and that was it. The whole thing was just... I guess it was just telling me, hey, this is what you could do. Press F to complete the quest by reporting to the captain. Situation is worse than we thought. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't starting to get worried. Well, I mean, look at how many guys they've got. Grab your weapons. Support the siege unit. Damn, he freaking zero to ninety in about five seconds. There's no saddle on that horse. How the hell did she get up there? She stepped on an invisible uh, spur. All right, what do we got, Captain? Attack the walls! The lodestone is just through there. All we have to do is break it down. Mount that tank. I want to give them everything we've got. Okie dokie. Approach the siege tank and press F to take control of it. God, this, this woman hard, talking is like. Fortress three times. Is too close. I have to fire. Uh, I have to fire at the fortress. So, wait, that's ours, isn't it? I mean, I'm just firing at the dudes on the ground. Am I supposed to be shooting anything in particular? Guess not. Just fire the cannon three times, basically. So, turning off the restrict frame rate, uh, maybe improved it a little bit, but it's still pretty, pretty, uh, stuttery. All right. Click an enemy to target it. Defeat three enemies. Defeat three enemies. Click an enemy to target it, then press one to attack. Okay, so this is my attack. <coughs> Mages are really not that hard. What? I could do that? I could just be like, ha, ha, ha. That's awesome. I just wish key bindings were a thing. So, am I just going to always have a bow and a sword? Is that what's going on here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. those high heels aren't just for show, bruh. Seems I owe you one. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps your patron was right about you. <laughs> sure, why not? Why is your beard blonde? These it was gray when we all met. have a lodestone that magically sustains their lands. We take the castle. We destroy it. Ready? Let's go. Okay. No need to yell. I'm right in front of you. Approach the zoom in a little bit. Yes, I get it. F is the action key. Hey, I could also right-click, you know. Is that the load? That Oh, there. Okay. I was like, it doesn't look like much of a load zone. It looks like a freaking branch. They're getting geared up to fire. You guys see the stuttering, right? Oh, oh now I speak. I'll give them this. The design is awesome, especially of all the the armor and the weapons, and they're really cool designs. But it, it just runs really sluggishly. I'm gonna chalk it up to possibly just the fact that I have it installed on a on a hard drive instead of an SSD. Well, we gotta. Oh, that's the cat person. I was thinking about being a cat person, but I was just like, I really like elves. But that was really cool. We just got here. Oh, well, he's dead. Well, it's the first time for everything. Then why the hell did we even bother? Boy, this video is going to be really bad for you guys to watch. Homeland, our mission. Oh, beauty. I failed you. Our beauty? What? Captain, stay with me. You're not the best looking dude, trust I'm me. I'm fine. Listen. Listen carefully. You have plenty of time left. Far more time than I've got. Arrow or no arrow. Train hard. Then come back someday. 
Gloria can be reclaimed, but you have to be ready. Today I wasn't. How would I know if I was ready? The time will come, and you will know. Oh, God! <laughs> I mean, we've got cannons. How the hell can we not take this? Blessed Nui, is today the day I see your face? I mean, that looks like it is more in the heart rather than the shoulder. Are those the birds of Nui? Okay, so he's not dying. Not really. He just pulled the arrow out. He's like, I'm good. I'm very confused as to what's happening right now because he just said retreat, but now he's going back in saying, oh, I've got to make sure that I your, your potential is seen or whatever. <clears throat> and now I, in my I'm back in my bed. It felt so real. Oh, never mind then. None of that made any sense. Think of it as a vision of the past and an illusion of the future. That's just a fraction of what the magic on Aurora is capable of. Where did the chair go that he was that just sitting in? Will find you whether you did I not notice if he was sitting in a chair or not? I'm gonna have to look at the uh, magic, the playback. That's as well like as what? Be wary. He just he just sat down. I mean, I know he's magic, but. I mean, I'm sure sitting on air is probably way more comfortable than a chair, but what? <laughs> I don't understand any of what happened. <laughs> Captain was like, in order to see it, to see you through and reach your potential, I have to die. <laughs> Why? You said you were going to help me see, see my potential through and you just decide to die. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe a 480 gig SSD should be more than enough to house all these games plus all the Blizzard games, which is five. Let's see, World of Warcraft, StarCraft II, Diablo III, Overwatch, and Hearthstone. Oh, no, and Heroes of the Storm, so that's six. So we've got six there, five here, and then uh, Skyrim and Fallout, which are somewhat big. But I think 480 gigs should be enough. All I know is that I need faster access to my games that I'm playing, and uh, it's probably more important that I get the ones that I'm doing video series on, on twice. you know, as fast as possible. But the dreams were so vivid. Could they have been real, or all just hogwash like they seemed? Hogwash, huh? Am I going mad? Yeah, the, the audio and yeah. subtitles are way, o way off. Back from the council meeting already? I guess I do just have a sword and a bow, no matter what I do. So we do shift, and then those, and then... Okay, so I am a mage. But I've got other abilities here as well. And it looks as though... Do I have any options? There we go! I was like, there's. it's impossible that I can't change my key bindings. I absolutely can. Character controls, okay, that's fine. Walk and run, do we have auto run? Yeah, of course. Numlock. Uh, uh, mouse four. Is that my thumb button? Yeah, look at that. Automatically my thumb button. That's actually what I've always used it as. Because my middle mouse button doesn't work. I have to get a new one. Z. All right, pet controls. Game keybinds. Not that. Uh, shortcut bars. There we go. Basic shortcut. Is that, is that what this is? And then shift. Yeah, that's what that is. So, Q and E, if I'm not mistaken, are just strafe left and right. So, I can just take those down. F is the action button. So, I can't really do anything with that. But, 1 and 3 and 2. I mean, those are the most used keys for me. Uh, there's UI shortcuts. But, I'm going to go with this. And, not that. There we go. Thank God it didn't be. It didn't ask me. Are you sure? Because it's already bound to this. 
Alright, you're good. Alright, uh, what's this? It's dash. What's this? I mean, do I really need this stuff? A sword and a, and a bow and arrow? Because, I mean, it's just like, when am I going to ever use that? What's R do? Apparently nothing. Might be able to change that. Um... Shift R is open raid menu. Shortcut. Yeah, these are all just like action bars and stuff like that. Uh, miscellaneous. Control R. It doesn't look like R is actually used, so I can actually use it for number four. ZC school. Oh, there it is. Okay. Status sensitive shortcut slot. What is that? What does that mean? Activates the skill in your first dynamic shortcut slot. These are kind of available when gliding, riding a mount, or using certain equipment. Oh, okay. Other than that, R is not being used. That's perfect. All right, good. That's kind of what I was hoping. All right, so let's see. Oh, it's not voiced anymore. Poo. That's right. I can read. It's just when it's nice. Quest, it's automatically added to the quest tracker on the right side of your screen. Really? I didn't know that. I haven't played an MMO before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. When you accept a quest, it's I know, I know. It's for people who've never played an MMO before. I'm just being a jackass. Ah, Aurelia, I've heard a lot about you. If half the stories are true, we could use someone like you in this army. Okie dokie. Aurelia, the time has come to prove your abilities. Travel to Sylvan Devi uh, to the south and speak with Eokad Brecken. There you will register for the Field of Honor. Field of Honor is a grand tournament where elven warriors, young elven warriors, complete, compete in a display of skill and martial prowess. Don't disappoint me, Aurelia. Whoa, we just met, all right? It's not like you're my master or anything. I didn't accept you. I do like the fact that F is like, you know, the, the accept and whatnot, but I can just like, you know, I might actually just use it for my normal button. Heading up to the Field of Honor, why don't you try out what you've learned here before you go. The wood elementals uh, along the southern path should make the perfect test of your abilities. Since you're headed that way anyway, kill a few, uh, kill a few as you go and then report to Madriel when you're done. And don't worry if the wood elementals are a bit too much for you right now. You can always come back later. Like Drillmaster Harp always says, the greatest teacher is experience. I agree. I agree. It is the greatest, ex uh, the, the best experience, uh, teacher. You guys know what I mean, all right? Don't judge me. All right. I can always right click. It's not that hard. All right. So what we got here, main quest in progress. Okay, completed is that. Okay. Press numlock to automatically run forward without holding down W. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure how that comes to be, but that's awesome. I like the fact that I can sometimes, like, just spam the crap out of my fireball. Grants a crawl and rune every 30 minutes up to three times a day. What does it do? I don't know what it does. Okay. That... Alright. There's, there's too much on the screen. Stop! Enough with the damn tutorials. I'm just gonna keep spamming it. Why not, right? 
It actually doesn't burn through my mana like I thought it would. What the hell? <laughs> well, he is burning. Nice. And, you know, he's a tree. So if he didn't die, I'd be surprised. Actually, it isn't Mouse 4 that I normally use for that. Oh, wait. That's, uh... Oh. Oh. I got you. Let's, uh, let's change that real quick, though. I actually don't normally use Mouse 4. I use Mouse 5 for auto run. Mouse 4 tends to be, um, which is my immediate thumb button, tends to be, like, an ability down here. Usually number 0. But that's got the health potion. What is this? Teleport book. Automatically records new locations the first time you visit them. You can then use a hereafter stone to return to any location on the list. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's basically a recall. There's my glider. <clears throat> Play instrument. Requires an instrument. Gives different... Area... Oh, gives... Different area effects depending on the type of instrument equipped. Oh, nice. So I can buff people and myself. Warps you to the last memory tome you set as your recall point. <coughs> You're kidding. Her dance moves are the party rock? Wow. Okay. Well. Stop. Stop. Jeez, I didn't know I had to click it again. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did you say something? Why is Lucius following me? Creepy dude. Killed the wood elementals. Oh, see, F can still be a thing. Really made, uh, really improved during the, your time here. Well done. Oh, by the way, Chief Belial has been preparing... Oh, uh, Chief Beal, excuse me, Belial. Uh, has been preparing food all day for the warriors who are headed to the annual tournament. You should visit her and get something to eat for the road. I hear she's running low on ingredients, though, so I'm sure she'd appreciate a little help. Would you mind catching a few of the local deer and bringing her the tough deer haunches? She'd like that. Be sure to touch this travel stone beside me before you head off. There... They're placed at intervals along the trail, and they'll speed up, speed you up as you walk. Well, nice. All right, open skills. Skills are down there. Skill window is K, like most things. <clears throat> it says learn a new skill set. Well, I'm okay with just one skill set at the moment. Thank you. All right, these are all just like stuff I can put down on the palette and whatnot. I'll have to go through these and figure out which ones I give a crap about. Alright, freezing arrow. So it does seem as though having a bow wouldn't be a bad idea. And apparently a sword as well. Alright, so... Stop. Uh, fires an ice arrow at an enemy dealing 212 magic damage and dev decreasing move speed for 4 seconds. Okay. Uses one skill point. So how do I... How do I use... I mean, did this automatically just unlock here? Like... It doesn't... It doesn't say... this expand skill saver <sighs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on oh I see okay so it'll when it unlocks it becomes not red and then you can decide to spend a point on it or not <clears throat> I guess I mean, why not? During combat, if oh. you use a skill in your shortcut bar that has a highlighted frame, you can gain a bonus combo effect. A bonus combo. 
I'm burning targets. So I hit them with my fireball and then shoot them with the arrow. Okay. Cool combo, bro. Okay. Um, and then... Ah, we're right here. Might as well do what we can. This will be the last thing I do for the day. I apologize that it's... um. It's been a weird experience. Wow! Nice combo. Boom. Just destroyed him. <clears throat> a farmer's coin purse. Let me guess. I is item or inventory. You need labor points to gather, mine, craft, and perform other vocational activities. Okay. Can't use it, apparently. I like the effects looks, because it, it looks really nice, actually. Okay, and there we go. So now, I'm just going to hit this stone. Uh, you need labor points to gather Minecraft and uh, mm -hmm, the vacational activities. During combat, if you use a skill in your shortcut bar that has a highlighted frame, you can gain a bonus combo. I don't see any highlighted frames, but alright. Pachoo! Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo! What if there's any way I can get rid of this? Not get rid of it, but like, you know. Like. Make it, like auto hide or something <clears throat> my god I f look at all the shadow shimmering and stuff that looks awful maybe I do need to have it on ultra graphics sadly enough I can't change them in game I can but I have to reset the game in order to see the effects so it's kind of crappy this will go perfectly with a meal we're making for the recruits tonight. We'll sure miss you around here. Please, have some of the stew before you go. You can't fight on an empty stomach, you know. You rhymed. <laughs> uh, actually, would you do me a favor since you're here? I need some bird eggs for tomorrow. I meant to get some, but at uh, but all this cooking has got ahead of me. Could you gather some eggs from one of the bird's nests in the trees around us? should only take a moment. Yeah, it'll take um, a week for me to do that because I'm not longer than a week. I'm just kidding. Um, because this is where this video ends. Wow. Deep Thinker Gillid. He's level 50. So I'm going to assume level 50 is probably the highest level in the game, but who knows? I'm already level 4. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. <laughs> this game is... Um, I can see why people like it, okay? So far, the voice acting is okay. Um, the game looks good. Uh, I don't know what it looks like on ultra settings, but it looks good here. That The things with the shadows, look at that. Oh, so bad. It's because I turned the shadow resolution down, I know. But still. Um, stuttery, a little bit stuttery. Um, like that. Perfect uh, timing, Mr. Stutter. But it's okay. I can deal with that. I'll have to figure out the the right balance of graphics and stuff, and I'll, I'll, I'll get that stuff going. Um, but I like the game. I like it. I can see myself having fun. You know me. I love CryEngine games. They're a lot of fun. Um, but I have yet to see a, a company actually use it well. Like, you know, it just has these minor issues, and uh, I understand that. You know, I'm, I don't know programming. I don't... I didn't engineer the game engine, so... I don't know what it takes to make a game run smoothly on a game engine. Um, obviously, I'm guessing this is... I've been told that uh, CryEngine is one of the more difficult uh, engines to work with, and so I can only imagine how difficult it is to make a game run perfectly smooth um, when the programming is just difficult. But what are you going to do? I have my little nitpicks here and there, but I'll, I'll find a balance, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But... 
that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning and the character creation and all this other stuff. You know these first episodes are just basic. You know, I'm just trying to figure the game out and everything. And there's a, uh, there's a few confusing things. I don't understand the story. I have no idea what's going on. But I'm sure the more I play it, further down the line we go, everything will be explained eventually. Um, but also, I'll figure out this whole thing with the capture game capture not working. I don't know why it's doing that, but um, here's hoping I can fix that. Um, and uh, please don't forget to check out the links in the video description below. Check out all the social media stuff and uh, the website. And more importantly, of course, the Extra Life campaign. It's 2017. We started a brand new one. We started early this time, and uh, I'm looking to raise that $200 again. I've started it off with 25 Now it's up to you guys to help out with the rest. And if you like this episode, don't forget to check out the other two episodes that I've got so far on Try on Tuesday. Um, we started out with um, uh, uh, Rift, and then we moved on to Defiance. Both excellent games. I've played them both before. Well, Rift, not so much. But Defiance, I've played many times before. It's an awesome, fun game. And uh, definitely keep in mind that all these games are free to play. PC only, however. So don't... Except for Defiance. Defiance is actually... No, Defiance and Trove. I'm sorry. Defiance and Trover on consoles, um, PS3, 360, PS4, and Xbox One, I believe. But um, I'm playing all these on PC, so. But they're all free to play, so give them a shot if you got a computer that can run them. If not, you can at least try out Defiance or Trove. Those games, I'm sure, are fun. I don't know. Next next time, it'll be Trove. Next week, it's Trove. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, guys, I'm Adam Wolf. This is Arcage. And I'll see you guys later.